guys. I don't know why I'm doing all these self-defense videos. I guess because I found out that it's pretty cool. But I'm just sitting here bored. So I'm going to do another one. The last one I did was with the ears. Now this one is right underneath the ears. Now this can knock somebody out. Without, like you see people go up and they'll go, and to knock somebody out, they'll hit them in the cheek, in the chin with their fist. But the main thing that makes me laugh is why hurt yourself when you're trying to defend yourself? Why not only hurt him? And one way to you do that is to use your feet a lot to kick and stuff because it doesn't hurt you to kick as much as it hurts him. But to just go up and hit somebody, what's the point? I mean, you break your hand. Sometimes you break your hand. But a lot of times you break your hand. What's the point of hitting somebody when you can knock them out so much easier? Now, right here is a bundle of veins. Just veins. and I mean, not veins. Nerves. Just tons of nerves. So... You've, if you've ever done a knife hand strike, you hit with this side of your hand, you know, you can, I can hit myself in the head pretty hard. It doesn't hurt your hand that bad. Well, with this many nerves, if you do a knife hand on all those nerves and just shock those nerves, it's going to feel to him, it's going to feel like his brain just went to liquid and went and drained into his body. And he's going to fall down right where he's standing. Just, if you get the chance... Don't hurt yourself. Be like in one of those comedy movies. Fall down right where he was. So if you get the chance, you can even do that with a kick. If you're that good. You know, it's really hard to hit somebody perfectly. But your hand fits like a key right here. It's like it was meant to be used like that. So if you get the chance, fall down. Just knock out those nerves and his brain's going to turn to nothing. Now he'll probably be able to hear what's going on. It's kind of like his head's an anchor. I've been passed out before, knocked out. It's it's like you're, of course, the passed out and knocked out is different because you don't remember stuff when you're knocked out. But when you're passed out, it feels like your head, I don't know if you've ever passed out before, but it feels like your head weighs 500 pounds. You can't lift your head. You can hear everything that's going on you can't see anything because your eyes are shut. You can't talk. You can't smell. You can't do anything. You can't move. But you can hear. So if you pass him, if you make him pass out or knock out, if he's knocked out, he probably won't remember anything. But he's going to hear everything that's going on. Unless you do the last video I did. But just remember, don't hurt yourself in self-defense. Just... Whatever it takes, you know. Why hurt yourself? And you know, that's another thing. This is called the Palm Hill Strike. I did a video of the last, or the real fitness video with my partner Chris. I broke a board with a Palm Hill Strike. This right here can be so easily broken, so easily hurt. When you get punched in the nose, it really hurts. Well, I just broke in that last video a, a board just over the equivalent of a rib. If you can take with a palm heel and shove it up into his nose, you can shove it either, if you hit hard enough, you can shove his nose into his brain. You know, self-defense is so easy when you know how to do it without hurting yourself. Now another way is if you come a little bit at an angle, you'll break his nose. Whoosh, snap it. And he's pretty darn hurt. You know, it's hard to fight with a broken nose like that. These are only to be used under, like, the last circumstances, you know. Like, the knockout one is okay. That's not hurting him. The only way you get hurt by getting knocked out is if you fall and hit yourself. Like, if I got knocked out and I fell and I hit my head on this, that's how you get hurt, knocked out. Getting knocked out does not hurt you. So if you just take, why hurt yourself with this? on bone, bone on bone, when you can use muscle and meat on softness. Right here, it's soft. The only bone is your skull. You hit right here, on him, he's down. 
But you gotta hit hard though. You can't just tap him. You you guys probably realize that, but you gotta you know, you gotta hit him in order to knock him out. But he's gonna it doesn't hurt your hand near as bad. It hurts to punch this thing. When it's cold, it hurts to hit this thing. It's this thing is hard as hard as this wall. It's practic it feels it's it hurts to punch this thing. But it doesn't hurt to do that. And it does not hurt to do that. Because you're hitting meat rather than bone. There's an easy way to knock somebody out. This is MDG206 out.